Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we'll be reviewing the NECA Devil's Rejects Bloody Showdown 3 figure pack. This includes Otis, Captain Spaulding, and Baby. This is a very very cool um, pretty hard to find pack. All three of these figures are really really well detailed and um, you can definitely tell NECA took a lot of time and effort to make sure they got the sculpt and um, design for these just to be perfect. And as a Rob Zombie fan, I can I can tell you that that is very, very appreciated. Um, we'll start off with Captain Spaulding here. I'd say this looks a lot like Sid Haig. He's kind of beat up, so it, 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 it's a little more bloody than some of the other Spalding figures. But um, the detailing on this is just really well done. Uh, everything from the clothes. Um, he's got uh, his John Wayne tat right there. And then a little hula girl on the other arm. Um, as far as articulation goes, he's got some movement in the ankles, um, rotation at the waist slightly, um, he's got rotation in the shoulders, rotation in the wrists, nothing really in the elbows at all. Uh, as far as accessories for this specific figure, he comes with the shotgun, which can be held fairly easily in, I want to say you can have it in both of the, either of his hands. Um, I found it was easier to actually place it into his right hand here. Um, he's also got articulation in his head. Very limited. You actually can't really turn it a whole lot because of uh, his beard there. And uh, the collar really inhibits any sort of movement um, left or right or up or down at all. So he's kind of, he's got a joint but you can't really do anything with it. But detail wise, I love the hell out of this figure. Definitely I don't know, this would probably have to be my second favorite Captain Spaulding figure. Um, probably the uh, the all-American Captain Spaulding from NECA's House of a Thousand Corpses line would probably have to be my favorite, but this one is definitely a runner-up. But yeah, very cool figure. Here we'll do a uh, baby next. I have this one on a, uh, this is a McFarlane stand. I've had a lot of people ask me recently where the hell I got these stands from. These are discontinued. These were um, made through McFarlane and were sold through their online store. Um, I believe they were in packs of like 15, and they were real cheap. They were like maybe like $3.99 for a pack, and um, I guess I, you know, dumb luck. I was smart enough to buy like five or six packs of those um, last summer, and it ended up that they, they canceled making these or selling them uh, through their online store in December of last year. So you can't really find these anymore. I haven't even been able to find them on eBay. They used to sell them on eBay occasionally. Uh, well, uh, other sellers would have them and sell them on eBay, but um, if you can find them or if you find them in a store, uh, I would highly suggest getting them. These are the only figure stands I have ever seen that work for um, Mezco, NECA, um, I think they kind of work for soda figures, soda toy figures, um, and McFarlane's, uh, Movie Maniacs line, they've really come in handy for those, so, yeah, that's where these came from, but if you see me displaying, uh, these with figures for reviews, they, they didn't come with the figures, unfortunately, um, I've asked NECA if they have any plans on creating, um, stands to sell for these figures or to sell for their figures in general and they kind of hemmed and hawed about it saying something to the effect of they didn't know how they would actually distribute them like if they would sell them online they didn't think they would sell in in toy stores which is you know a load of shit because collectors everywhere have been asking for these things uh for years so you know we'll see what happens with that but in the meantime if you can find some of these i would highly suggest uh grabbing a handful when they're available um, they're definitely worth the worth the price. So, anyways, back to the review. 
Um, have this one on the stand for the sole purpose that it kind of it has a tendency to fall over. You you can uh, there is uh, ankle articulation, but it's kind of at a slant. So if you get a strong gust in there, it'll keel over on you. So for the review, we'll have it on the stand here. There's articulation in the ankle, nothing really from the waist up except for uh, the neck which is on a ball joint but kind of like with Spalding the hair kind of inhibits a whole lot of movement. <clears throat> I really really love this set specifically that um, this figure actually looks like Sherry Moon Zombie. The other versions that uh, NECA had created for the House of a Thousand, or it wasn't, they didn't have one for the House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, the one that they, the ones that they made for the Devil's Reject series, um, they just looked scary. Not, not scary good. They looked scary bad. Like, she had this, like, crazy look on her face, and it didn't look anything like the actress. But for some reason, this version, I think, really does, uh, does her justice. And it looks phenomenal, just with the blood and everything, and, uh, the scratches, and, she comes with, uh, she has, um, no wrist articulation. She has rotation at the shoulder, back and forth. There's no in and out, uh, flexibility at all with this figure for the shoulders. And then she has, um, just a revolver. There. Um. But, yeah, it was... I don't know, it was interesting that they, they didn't really pay attention for the other, the detailing on the other figures of her, but this pack, uh, this three pack figure looks the best, so, um, just throwing that out there. And then, last but not least, one of my favorite characters, Otis Driftwood, comes with a couple different things, he's got uh, a buck knife, big ass buck knife that goes in, um, little sheath there on his leg. He has no ankle articulation, no real leg articulation. He has, um, he can pivot at the waist and then his arms can flex forward and backward and then his head, he, his uh, hair is more flexible, way more flexible. It's kind of this rubbery plastic stuff so he can actually move fairly easily. So, uh, detailing on him is also really, really well done. You got the, the bruises and the, the blood and everything. His hands are all bandaged up from having the nails put through him and everything in the final scene, which was really, really crazy. Um, my only complaint, aside from kind of the lack of articulation with this figure is it was a bitch to try to get the the guns in his hands. I had to take a screwdriver and a knife and kind of pry his hands open to get these things in there cuz this hand this hand barely holds onto uh the weapon and then this hand was just like I don't know why it was it seemed like it was almost glued closed like you couldn't put anything in there. But he was supposed to hold both these, so I was bound and determined to try to make it work. It looks as if he has articulation, like um, like it can rotate here at the wrist. So I'll say it can, but it feels like it would break out if you twisted it too hard. So, yeah, just a, a word of warning there. But either way, this is a great uh, figure pack. Um... I want to say these run for about a hundred bucks now, if not more, depending on where you get it. Um, I paid about ninety for mine, and honestly, it was worth every penny. This this is a phenomenal set. Uh, I think NECA did themselves proud with this uh, this trio here because they they look a lot more like the actors from the Devil's Rejects um, than their uh, their actual line of figures from the film. So, if you're a Rob Zombie fan or a Devil's Rejects House of a Thousand Corpses fan, I would definitely, definitely look into picking these up. Um, 
And uh, get them while you can, because I have a feeling this is going to be one of those packs that's going to be like 400 bucks in the near future, just because um, collectors are snatching them up left and right. So uh, if you do get a chance to find one, or if you find one on sale, definitely go for it. So, But yeah, if you have any other questions, uh, just leave them in the comments below, and uh, check out some of my other reviews. Thanks for watching.